Welcome to Sentence Stocking, where you will receive one mentor sentence from a popular middle school book and five focus questions to go along with that sentence. You can answer the five focus questions by writing them down with paper and pencil, through thinking through the answers in your head, or if you have a family member or even a pet or a friend that you can talk to on the phone, you could answer the questions through speaking them out. Today's mentor sentence comes from the book Wonder by R.J. Polacco, and it comes from page six. The mentor sentence is, meanwhile, mom's regular doctor wasn't on duty that night. So mom got stuck with this cranky kid doctor she and dad nicknamed Doogie after some old TV show or something. The first focus question is, why is there a comma after meanwhile? Number two, why are mom and dad capitalized? Number three, why is there a comma after night? Number four, what type of word is nicknamed? What does it mean? And number five, what do you notice about how TV is written? So this is the part where I'd like you to push pause and either write the answers down, think about them in your head, or talk through them with a friend or a partner. All right, so you have your answers and now we are going to go through what they are Focus question number one was why is there a comma after meanwhile? I am going to bring up a reference sheet that explains why writers use commas. So some of the reasons that writers use commas to list items in, to list items in a series, to combine two independent clauses with a coordinating conjunction. This is also known as fanboys, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, or so to separate two coordinate adjectives that describe the same noun, to separate the dependent clause from the independent clause in a complex sentence, to separate an introductory word or phrase from the rest of the sentence, to insert additional or interrupting information into the middle or the end of the sentence, or to separate the quotation from the rest of the sentence in written dialogue. So we are going to go back to our mentor sentence for today and take a look closer at that comma, which comes right after an introductory word, meanwhile. So the comma is after meanwhile to separate an introductory word from the rest of the sentence. Meanwhile, in this case, is used as a tr transition word. Number two, why are mom and dad capitalized? So mom and dad are capitalized because they are used as names in this sentence. You can test this theory out by replacing them with a name to see if the sentence still makes sense. So let's just say that Augie's mom's name is Dan and his mom, or um, Augie's dad, mom's name is Sharon and his dad's name is Dan. Meanwhile, Sharon's regular doctor wasn't on duty that night. So Sharon got stuck with this cranky kid doctor, she and Dan, nicknamed Doogie after some old TV show or something. So we can easily replace mom and dad in this sentence with names. So we know that we would be capitalizing it. A lot of times people will put my mom or my dad. And in that case, it would not be able to be replaced with the name. It would no longer be capitalized. Question number three, why is there a comma after night? So there is a comma. Meanwhile, mom's regular doctor wasn't on duty that night comma, so mom got stuck with this cranky kid doctor. So there is a comma, we looked at the comma rules, there's a comma after night to join together two independent clauses with the coordinating conjunction, so. This is a compound sentence. So the comma is joining together the independent clause, mom's regular doctor wasn't on duty that night, which could stand alone as its own sentence, and the independent clause, Mom got stuck with this cranky kid doctor she and dad nicknamed Doogie after some old TV show or something. That's an, also an independent clause that could stand alone as its own sentence. And it's joined together with the coordinating conjunction, so. So the comma goes in front of the so. Question number four, what type of word is nicknamed and what does it mean? So nicknamed is a compound word 
because a compound word is a word that takes two words and combines those two words together to make one word with one new meaning. The meaning of nicknamed is a funny or familiar name given to something or someone that is used instead of their real name. And question number five, what do you notice about how TV is written? So in this case, TV is an abbreviation for the word television. It is written in uppercase letters with no punctuation. And this is similar to abbreviations like DVD and ATM. So that is just a little bit of extra information about why the author chose to wrote, write TV, just a capital T with a capital V. So now I just want us to think of one way to share our thinking about how we did today. So let's start with number one and just think through that question. What is one new thing you learned today? So what's one new thing you learned today while we were completing our mentor sentence and our sentence docking that you now know about writing that you maybe didn't know before? Or maybe something that you were reminded of that you are now thinking about that hasn't come to your mind in a while. If you're looking to extend your learning today, you could also choose an option off of the extension menu. So you could go and look to discover a sentence and go into a book that you have available to you, look through it and see if there is a sentence that follows some sort of similar rule that we talked about. Maybe a sentence that has a comma to combine two independent clauses with a coordinating conjunction, or maybe a place for mom, dad, or the name of a family member, like aunt, uncle, brother, sister is capitalized when it could be replaced with the name. You can ask a question. You can look back at our questions that we went through today in our mentor sentence, and you can come up with your own question that maybe wasn't asked that you would have liked to see um, asked today. You could create your own sentence by writing down a sentence that takes into account some of the elements that we looked at today and create and craft your own sentence based on some of those rules that we talked about. And then another option would be if you were RJ Polacco and you were going to change this sentence to strengthen it, what would be one suggestion that you would have to make a new sentence out of this or add a little something to the, exi to the existing sentence? Thanks for joining me today. And we will come back tomorrow with another sentence docking.